I think documentary cinema is ex extremely important and, and because it has this authenticity to it that you have real people who uh, tell their stories and it's their life and you are witness to that at the moment where they are doing that and I think we all you know get very emotionally touched by that. It's a film about uh, a genocide that took place in Indonesia 65-66 but it's not so much about the historic part of it it's about this man Adi who t uh, today goes back and confront the people who killed his brother and he is looking for truth and reconciliation and justice and that's a universal story I think for all of us. For me the most uh, touching thing in the whole process has been uh, Adi and his family and their bravery in actually talking about these issues in Indonesia when, when the film came out. This hadn't been done in that way before and to have that courage is incredible and then uh, I, I love Adi's mother. She's very old, but she's very dignified, and she's able to talk about her feelings of losing her son uh, so many years ago, but it's, it's very clear that it's still a, a wound that's not healed. There were many challenges along the way. Uh, it's a difficult subject in Indonesia, so we have an Indonesian crew who had to remain anonymous but who made a huge contribution to the film. And we also have had, uh, it's, we have to th think a lot about how we got it out in Indonesia, but it is being screened there and discussed and shown, as well as the previous film we made, The Act of Killing. It's uh, really wonderful, and we're gonna put it uh, out in Indonesia tonight. So we hope that uh, it will also reach our, our, the press out there. And, uh, and make a, uh, encourage a lot of more Indonesians to see the film. I, I can safely say that, well, I think that Joshua Oppenheimer is a fantastic director and his vision is pretty incredible. Uh, the character Adi Rukun is a very brave and, and wonderful man and his family all around him, you also meet them in the film and, and they are very warm and fantastic. And then. Uh, the, the story of the film or the, the key theme of the film uh, genocide and how what happens when neighbors turn on neighbors and killing starts and so on and how a society overcome this after so many years is extremely important in all of the world it's not just Indonesia and so in that sense the story is universal well, I, I'm very fond of Adi but uh, I especially love his mother She's a very, very warm and wonderful woman, and uh, yeah, she's amazing. And of course, tonight's uh, ceremony, you're being honored by critics. Does that have a special significance for you? Yeah, definitely, because uh, professional critics really take films seriously and watch them and think about them and are able to put them into a long con context of film history and society in general. So I think that's extremely important and, and that's very humbling and we feel very happy to have an award from exactly those people. And does this success help you in your ambition of making the film more widely available, particularly in Indonesia? Well, yes, in Indonesia and, and around the world, I think a lot of people are looking to critics because there is an abundance of films in the world and what should you see and so on. So you need those reviews to help you choose and, and having the, the support of critics in that sense is wonderful for a film like ours.